Hi, Tea Timers. Um, so today I have, um, it's Angel Water and it's the one with the spearmint and the red clover and lavender and, um, oh, what, elderflower. It's very soothing. So that's what I'm, I'm easing my way into the day. I was gonna say after the long weekend, whew, but I didn't do anything different for the long weekend that I do all the time. I just wrote and my, oh, my story. Oh, remember when I was telling you guys, oh yes, and you know, for this time, for the first time, I've, I've done a whole outline, like it, it, it's, I don't know, 30 pages of and what's gonna happen here and this and that and that. Yeah, <laughs> that didn't work. I outlined it, but it's all so different now. It just took galloping off in a different direction. And then, and then when I said it, when I told you it was going really well, well then guess what happened? I hit the biggest brick wall ever. So I was grinding, grinding. I threw out 20 pages and had to go back to where I was before and then rework my way a different way. And now it's, um, it's taken another turn on me. So my characters are really entertaining and amusing me, but, um, it's, it's, it's way different than I thought it was going to be. So, um, uh, and, and, and there might be a bad guy after all, <laughs> not a bad, well, no, he, he might be, I don't know. This is just a, like a new change, but, um, yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's kind of fun. So let me see, let me answer some questions here. Take another slug of tea. Today for you, I have, okay. Tommy's written this before, so I'm finally, I'm finally answering it. I told you I would. Uh, Tommy Gorman, will you show us your Golden Globe and tell us about the experience of being there and winning? Thanks. Okay, so you would think it would be the most exciting thing in the world. It's exciting now when I think about it, but when I, when I um, won it, okay, so let me tell you the whole story. The whole, wait, first I'll, I'll, I'll the suspense, I'll bring, uh, there, ta-da! <laughs> so here's what happened. This is really heavy, by the way. You could use these things as weights. Like, I'm showing you how strong I am. <laughs> they're, really, they're really heavy. Maybe someday I'll, um, I'll get my um, scale and then I can, we can weigh the different, uh, we, like, <laughs> I'll weigh it and let you know the different, awards I've gotten and see which one's heaviest. But I think this one might because the other one, like the Canadian Screen Awards, really heavy and so is the Gracie Award. But this one has this kind of marble on it, which I think maybe is a little heavier. Maybe it's this, this round ball thing, the earth with the film. Or, see, it's earth and it's got a film scroll around it. I, I just noticed that now. <laughs> I've had this for Oh my gosh, like over 30 years. I just noticed that's a film, a scroll of film around the top now. That's so funny. So anyway, um, so what happened is I um, found out when I found out that I was nominated for the Golden Globe, I was shooting a movie in New York and, um, and I remember being, I think it was, yeah. And I remember being like, oh, Oh, I'm going to have to get a dress. Now here's the situation I was in. I had, um, I had married into an extremely challenging, uh, sit financial situation. So money was really, really tight. When I got, um, my paychecks, they would just go straight to paying off the, the challenges that my, that my first husband had been in. So, uh, the, I didn't have money and to buy a big fancy dress to go to the award thing. And I was thinking, well, maybe I'll get something at a secondhand store and pretend that I'm, you know, casual chic, you know, sort of like, oh, I'm retro chic. But um, then I was walking, I was pushing my daughter in a stroller along um, in New York um, on a day off. And it was, uh, I was on, I think Lexington and outside this boutique shop, there was a, I saw a big cardboard box and I was trying to figure out like, what am I gonna do? And there was this big cardboard box with a, a sign that somebody had written with a Sharpie, $25, everything in the box. And I was like, $25, maybe there's something in there I can use. This looks like a fancy shop. So I, I um, lifted my daughter's stroller up the steps and I was rummaging through the thing, keeping my hand on her stroller and looking. And I pulled out this um, dress but it wasn't finished. Like the hem, it wasn't hemmed. <laughs> it was, 
unfinished and it but it was a little bit it was shiny and I thought well that's a little bit of shimmer I certainly didn't expect to win so I figured look this is what's gonna happen they're gonna flash to the different people like and make Tilly Fragness of God and I'd smile and wave and then they'd go and da 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 Angelica Houston and you know um you know all, all of these uh, Oprah Winfrey and Amy Matt Amy Madigan and and then you know we all thought that well Angelica she had won the New York one and she'd won some other ones so that was what who was gonna win so I um so I thought if I just have a flash of color like a flash of something shiny I can slap an old rhinestone brooch you know on it and um, you know they'll go to me and then I'll go what I wasn't what I didn't realize was is that every single mover and shaker anybody who was like big in Hollywood was going to be in that room and these were the people the studio heads up that were looking to see who's going to be the next hot totsy <laughs> who is going to hire you for jobs I didn't even that didn't even cross my mind I was just like I need something to flash and then they'll see it and then it'll go off and you know and not to mention it's broadcasted around the world so I, I get this $25 dress <laughs> out of the thing and I I I um so then it comes the night to do and I'm like oh right got the thing I went and took an early morning exercise class I was pregnant with my the reason I'm clutching my belly is I was pregnant with my second child at the time and so I'd I'd gone to this I'd done this ballet class because I could do a bit of ballet I could do a couple hours but I couldn't do like what you need to be for a professional dancer when I had um, hurt my back so I did the um I did a ballet class and I came back took my shower I didn't have time to wash and dry my hair because for those shows you have to get there early um, but I figured nobody's gonna notice and I thought well you know what actually because I was thinking should I and then I thought I'm gonna be squeezed for time and I had a young a young daughter who was two years old who you know I'd just been out for you know to do my ballet class so I decided no you know what wear your hair up in a bun it's kind of elegant <laughs> So I left my hair in the bun and I thought I'll just pull out a few little tendrils here and take the curling iron to curl it and then I'll put a little powder on my nose and a little lipstick on, a little bit of eyeshadow, not so much. These were the days before you, you really, well at least these were the days, well I didn't do professional makeup and the designers at that time didn't say oh here wear my fancy dress to the people who were nominated. You just, um, you just found something or maybe some people were able to do that but I didn't know about that so so I put on my $25 dress and I went there and I was really happy because I'd never been to Golden Globes and um, but they had big tables so nobody could see that my dress only went to around my knees the shiny bit and I was nicely hid by the tablecloth and and I'm sitting there and you know where I'm being polite and you know talking or whatever and not talking much because I'm pretty shy but it was nice to see all the um, Agnes of God group and then all of a sudden they call my name that I won and I'm shocked like, like, like I'm seriously horrified it's not that jubilation and happy tears it's like oh no I'm gonna get, have to get up and everybody's gonna see my my the, the, my dress <laughs> so I'm like what do I do but I knew I had to go up there so I scamper up there and I say the little speech as fast as I can I just rattle off a bunch of names thinking if I speak really fast nobody will even notice I'm up here and I can disappear off so I blah, 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 thank you thank you blah, and then I zipped off the stage and 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 the only thing I could think of was oh my gosh oh my gosh and I got to the back and they're asking me all these questions and there's all these reporters and they're taking pictures and they're taking pictures of this terrible dress and, and I, I'm just like, oh no! And they're like, what's the first hot thing you thought of? And you know, you can't really say. All I can think of is, I wish I bought a new dress. But that's that's what I was thinking. So um, I figured, okay, well, I was so fast, nobody would have noticed, and and I, I got away with it. Um, I, I, you know, but um, the next morning I get a call from my friend Shani. We both had our first baby. We were pregnant at the same time, and she, she's like, Meg, what the hell were you wearing? Oh my God! <laughs> she, she, she said, I mean, congratulations and everything, but oh my God, woman. So, so that was what it was like being at the winning my my first uh, award. 
And I didn't know that, you know, it, this doesn't happen every year. And oh my goodness. So she said, for the Oscars, we're going to get you something. So I got all set up for the Oscars and that was nice. Um, I got to go to the Golden Globes quite a few times after that. And it wasn't nearly as scary because I wasn't nominated. I'd quit acting at that time and I was married to someone who since passed away who um, had to go every year. So we would go and um, we'd be sitting at the tables. And the thing, the difference is between the Oscars and the Golden Globes is the Golden Globes is sort of like a big party because first off, you have food. With the Oscars, everybody is ravenous by the time it, you're partway through the ceremony. Whereas there, you have food. It might be rubber chicken, but you do have food. And they also have booze. <laughs> they, have, they have wine and stuff like that. And so people are, are um, way more loose with that one than they are and people are table hopping and visiting and it's sort of like just a big party and everybody's dressed up but it's really you know seeing the people in in the things and meeting up with people in the restroom and and things like that and i remember once um i was at this one table and there were these two actors who were their star their stars were just ascending and they were young and their film had been nominated and um they were drinking up a storm like, oh my goodness, they had the wine and the wine was gone and then they started getting beer and between the two of them, they, they had downed at least 12 beer and, and they had all these beer bottles all on the table and I was worried because I thought it could, like they're just starting off and you know, if people think they've got a problem, it could, it could kind of change the trajectory of their career. So right before, I was hoping they were gonna put it away, but when it became clear that they were just, that all this, like these bottles piling up were gonna be there, I could see like what things were coming because you get a little menu of when things are happening. So right before I just thought, I, I don't care. I just, I just can't sit here and, and let this happen. So right before it did, I quickly just grabbed all the beer bottles and I'm grabbing them and I'm shoving them under the table, clank, 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 so that they're hidden by the tablecloth. And I got it just in time. And then I sit back and they're like, and, but I won't say who it is because that's not cozy to, to say things about people. But I can tell you the story because it's interesting. And um, I remember, oh, I remember another time I was there and, um, and I was sitting here and um, there was, you know, you're right there with all these big, big actors and um, Christina Lottie won. And I, as you know, I worked with her on Leaving Normal. And so I knew how important it was because at the time we did Leaving Normal, um, you know, she was talking about things and, you know, whatever, private stuff. But anyway, so I knew this was really important and they were calling her, Christina Lottie, where's Christina Lottie? And Everybody's craning their head and nobody can see her. And they said, well, Christina Lott, and somebody yells, she's in the bathroom. And I, I thought, oh, oh no, she's gonna miss this moment. And they said, well, okay, so then uh, we'll, we'll accept this. And I saw Robin Williams, he, he was on the, the table right over here. He leapt up onto the stage and he started talking and he started doing a comedic rift because he knew that they wouldn't go cut to commercial break when you've got Robin Williams doing impromptu comedy. And so everybody's laughing and laughing. My heart's beating like, is it gonna happen? And then all of a sudden in the middle of like making everybody just falling over with laughter goes, and there's Christine Lottie, come on, get your award or something like that. And she came rushing up like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. And she had her moment in the sun, like up there accepting her award. And I saw, uh, and when she came up, Robin Williams went down and, um, and you could see him, he went from laughing and doing and doing these jokes to just kind of tucking back into himself to this, you know, quiet person just disappearing and watching the show. And I just, I just thought that was so incredibly kind of him. Um, such a sweet, generous thing to do. And, um, and, and I, I, I remember that. And there was another time where he did a, a remarkable kindness to my son. And, and um, I was really sad when, when he passed away, but I send him good thoughts and good wishes wherever he is. He's a real sweet, sweet soul. So anyway, that's um, what it's like to be at the Golden Globes. And I'll see you guys all on Thursday. Bye-bye.